All right, so my buddy Aaron and I, last night we had some dinner out at the campsite and decided to put our scraps into this crayfish trap. Is it upside down again? Oh, I got, I got crayfish in there. Do you? Yeah. Have a tasty treat. Let's see, we have a couple in there. So only like three really little ones, or not super big ones. So I'm gonna keep them for now. Put them in one of our dirty dishes here. But there was just crayfish littered across this whole beach last night. They were coming up super shallow. So maybe if I put the trap out deeper. For the daytime, I can catch one. Um, I'm gonna grab my fly rod and toss a closer minnow and see if I can catch anything. But Crayfish Wrangler. There's a really big tail. Wow. Uh, it's okay. Alright. We didn't catch any more, so that's not going to be enough to eat. Just going to get to go home. Goodbye. All right, guys, so just set up the awning so I can edit on a video. My computer's dead, so I thought I might as well take this time to clean out my fridge. Spilled some sushi ginger in there the other week. All right. <laughs> We're golden. Nice, buddy. All right, you can go at it. Okay, see you later. Pea suit. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I found the culprit, dude. That wasn't. It wasn't the sushi ginger. 
I had some chorizo in there from when I camped in Minneapolis. It's still in there? It's pretty hairy. Oh, yeah. That's some. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Should we do it? Yuck. What are those, dude? Oh, Sick. Should I walk across the lake? So mm -hmm. Walk on water? How she goes, man. See what that freaking is that weather stripping right there? Yeah. I don't know what it is. You take that out of there. Yeah, we can pick up this corn. Use it as bait? Yeah. What the heck, dude? It's so random. It's literally like somebody's truck door weather stripping. <laughs> All right, we did our good deed. Let's throw it in the fire now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, dude and I finished up our work for the day. We changed camp spots. Found a nice little secluded area here. Right next to the lake, which is awesome. I really wish I had a canoe right now, but it's all right. I think we could probably catch some fish from shore. We also ran into town earlier today and grabbed some groceries, so I'm gonna cook us a little dinner. And uh, yeah, it's 5.30 right now, so we're both getting pretty hungry. Oh yeah? I don't think it's a baby. You got a big one? No, I think it's a tiny little thing. Oh, you got a baby? Yeah. Bring it in. I think so. Oh yeah. For real? Maybe it's, oh yeah, a little pike. A little pike? Yeah. Nice. Hit right away. Lucky that that thing didn't steal your bait. Careful, his teeth might nick that line. You cook him up if you want him. <laughs> It's up to you. No, that's fine. Don't let him go. He's too small. Oh! Hi, buddy. You <laughs> he, he heard get cooked and then he, <laughs> he said see ya. He's like, oh wait, hold on, hold on. I thought this was something else. <laughs> nice. Did you hit hard? Honestly, I threw it and I thought I caught a weed because it like hit right away. Hit right away. So I was like, uh, nice. I didn't say anything until I got halfway <laughs> and I was like, I can't tell. <laughs>
We're gonna have a lot of food, by the way. <laughs> Tonight. Right yeah. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, ram, flam, ham, you name! I wasn't so sure about doing corn over the fire, but I thought it wasn't too much of a gamble because it was 80 cents for two ears of sweet corn. And sweet corn is so good. Careful, look at any sand on that thing. Huh? I know. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, I haven't peeled it. I've only peeled the one, portion, one side of it. There we go. A little appetizer. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Never had olive oil on corn, but I'm sure it's not bad. Olive oil is pretty good. Have you ever had olive oil on corn? No. Might be kind of weird, but we're gonna put salt on it too to kind of even it out. Salt doesn't stick on there as well as it would with butter. I'm impressed. There we go. It tastes smoky. There you have it, folks. I try ridiculous stuff on this channel, so you don't have to look like a fool at your next camping outing. That's what we ended up making for dinner. It's just boneless ribs that I tried to cut into like rib tips or something. I put some uh, salt and paprika on them and then threw some beans in there. The beans already had meat in it, I guess, but I don't think having some extra meat is gonna hurt. Not too bad. That's actually pretty dang good. Like a perfect meal for like this. Mm-hmm. Well, I like that we're right by the water too, so we can just do our dishes. Not have like dirty dishes sitting out. As long as the sun doesn't go down right now. Pretty good day today for it being rainy. Found a camp spot, got some work done. We're gonna give it a go tomorrow. Aaron caught the first fish of the trip. Yeah. There's a guy that stopped out of here earlier when we were up the road and he was like telling us that he caught pike in here and had a big smallmouth on. So I don't know if there's trout in this lake and I don't know how much time we're really spend on this lake, but it's cool to know fishing here. I'm gonna finish the food up and then we'll see you before bed. I'm gonna tell you what, this awning is already worth its weight in gold. So you can tell, or maybe here right now, it's raining. And uh, normally I would be scrambling to like put the dishes away and put like all this stuff in the truck, put the dry wood away. Um, we don't really have room for it. Uh, Aaron's sleeping in the back again, so like it'd kind of be a big, a big stressor. With having this awning, I can just leave everything out here and not really worry about it. Everything out here is in dry bags and the stuff that's off the ground is the only thing that I'm really worried about getting wet and it's off the ground, so it should be fine. Um, Aaron's gonna sleep back here again. Apparently it was comfortable enough for him. I'm obviously going back to my domain, but it was a good night. We had a campfire, had a couple more sock sodas, and can't complain. 
All right, buddy. See you on the other side. Since since the rain's starting to come down a little harder, I decided to put down the the posts. Those two. See if that helps out at all. I think it's. I don't know if I need to lower this one or what. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll just wait and see, but I'm going to get in here because I think it's letting water in. Oh. The nice thing is, is that this window is not going to let in any water. Because it's underneath the, underneath the awning. Whoa. Dude, we got a lot of stuff, buddy. <laughs> got a good seal on the back windshield. Alright. Should have brushed my dang teeth too, but that's okay. All right. It's, it's not gonna end. It's, it's not gonna end well. This is the beans. It really can't is. Can't really see you back there, no. You ain't even pointed over here. I can't see you anymore. Oh, there it is. Now I can see you. All right, give the people what they want. Tell them good night. Good night. See you guys. Good night, everybody. It was a successful second day. Feels good to be. Not in the middle of a town now. See you in the morning. We're going to wrap this episode up. It's a good couple nights, and uh, hopefully you guys see some fishing videos from this trip. We're going to go fishing today, maybe tomorrow morning, and try to get some catch and cooks done. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Mav. As always, until next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking. What's that? Did you just call me son? I don't even know where the canoe rental place is and now we don't have service, so. Can we just drive down the frickin' Gunflint Trail until we find a canoe renting place?